Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Look who it is sliding in through your window. It's me, old Seppy Flaps. Apologize for the absence. My uh, depression got the better of me over the last few weeks. My son, Logan, was taken pretty ill. He's got a heart murmur. We're still waiting on the scan results coming back. So pretty stressful. But that kind of took me over the edge. And I just sat there staring at the wall for a lot of the time and uh, not really thinking of much. So I've been putting in a few streams to get back into it. And this has got me back into it properly for YouTube the status update for January 2019 for Nemelsk, which is, to be honest, what a lot of us are waiting for with DayZ, other than the content patches for normal DayZ, helicopters, other weapons, etc. So let's get into it, shall we, by doing what I do best, reading what other people write and making a video out of it. And Sumrak, creator of Nemelsk, says, The end of 2018 was very busy for Nemelsk. The reception on the teaser trailer was amazing, and it definitely motivated me a lot in pushing things forwards. Ultimately, it meant by the end of 2018, after so many years, I had proper multiplayer tests happening with all the nomelsk related features plugged in. Of course, things were not as smooth as one would imagine, but over roughly three weeks I have managed to squash most of the multiplayer issues that popped up, be it gameplay or some obvious balance issues. Tests conducted so far were done with one to three people and aimed at testing basic functionality. In the coming months, more tests will be conducted to analyze server performance and overall availability of the loot for the 30 to 40 player count target. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the 40 player count target in the comment section below. Do you think that's about the right amount for the mouse? Anyway, some of you have noticed that I have captured a few random screenshots from the initial multiplayer tests, and I will have those on screen for you guys to check out now. I will also leave a link to them in the description below so you can check them out in more detail. Mind you, there shouldn't be any massive spoilers. And thanks to the tests, some quality of life improvements happened too. One example would be a visualization of the cold resistance soft skill in the inventory screen. Previously just a hidden number, this soft skill will help you to survive the harsh environment of Nomelsk by slowly improving the ability of your gear to contain heat of your body. The more exposed to cold you get, the faster it will improve. This skill grows slowly over time, and it can take a few evening sessions before reaching its maximum. Ultimately, it's there to give a value to your character to reward you for continuously resisting the Maelsk's attempts to kill you. In the coming weeks, I plan to look more into balancing the cold survival. While there are some quite game-breaking issues with the vanilla systems, such as items not losing the heat, they do not completely prevent me from experimenting with all the environment variables at this point in time. The cold survival is the biggest part of what makes Nemelsk gameplay, and it has to be done good together with the central economy setup, availability of key items for survival. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, January 2019 Nemelsk status update from Samrak himself. Some nice information and screenshots, and I'm looking forward to you guys running into me as an ice cube. Just quickly, I forgot to say this also last time for Nemelsk's status update. Samrak does have a support or donation page, so you can support him. He does all of this in his spare time. So if you do fancy supporting him financially in any way, I will leave his donation link in the description below. I'll be dropping a, a dollar or two for him in his pocket, get himself some uh, get himself some beers or something, you know. And finally today, as I did miss the stats report for this month as well for Daisy itself, there will be a platform update on its way to be released in February this year, and it will contain some new content. I think one new weapon and some other stuff as well. So keep an eye out for that in February. There's some top issues that the dev team are looking into as priority, which is server performance, persistence, server browser issues, animation issues. Uh, they're also going to look into the modding side of things to help modders out, I guess, curiosity, creativity, community by delivering significant modding improvements this year, like documentations, samples and fixes that make new things possible. So sounds good. It'll be handy for a lot of us because we're kind of guessing at the moment from working on Armor 2, Armor 3, etc. Now, the final thing that Project Lead Eugen mentions in this status report is about there being no more status reports as we know it from now on. This will be the kind of final one in this form. I'm a little bit worried about that. I think the community likes how it's being done. They like these updates. We know thousands of people are watching my videos and anybody else that makes them. I know Running Man uh, talks about them on his streams. A lot of people are interested in all this information. So I think stopping them altogether would be a bad thing but they're not gonna stop getting information out to us to directly quote Eugen again status reports will no longer follow the two week period instead we'd like to think of ways how to more actively work with what's happening in the community engage in the events organized by community server owners and improve the direct communication across channels so they will be still communicating with us and in some form not 100% sure how and what maybe Twitter 
Still, I don't think the status reports should vanish uh, unless I'm misunderstanding it. Maybe do the status reports once a month instead of two weekly. We'll have to see what happens, but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Uh, I'm looking forward to, and I'm sure the devs will, will have a look as well and find out what your thoughts are on, on the status reports changing and or not being a thing, possibly. I'm curious. Well, that's it for this week's video. January status reports for both Nemelsk and Daisy itself. Just a quick little highlight for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like. I will keep you updated with more videos. Let's get back on track. Stay positive, and I'll see you peeps next time.